Earnings season continues with HSBC Bank releasing its scorecard today. The banking giant booked better than expected first quarter earnings, and that is thanks to a surge in income in its core Asian businesses and measures at reigning in costs. Roland Lim has more for us from Hong Kong. Yes, the market was expecting as much as a 6% drop in pre-tax profit for the first quarter as uh, HSBC navigated a slower Chinese economy. Pre-tax, of course, came in, coming in beating expectations, $6.3 billion versus $4.8 billion, and that's up 31% thanks to cost containment. Now, operating expenses down 12% on year. Adjusted revenues also climbing some 5% from $13.7 billion last year to $14.4 billion for the first quarter. Tier 1 core capital ratio, that's a measure of the bank's financial strength, that stood at 14.3%, an improvement. It was 14% the end of last year. Many, of course, were worried of a weak start to the year because the capital markets weighed down on HSBC's Q1 earnings. More than half, if you remember, of HSBC's earnings comes from Asia, so much so that HSBC's relative price, as well as its forward earnings per share, can actually be tracked to the relative performance of China versus Europe's GDP. And of course, in February, HSBC had warned the markets that its 2018 profits had missed forecasts after a poor performance in the fourth quarter due to the market turmoil created by the U.S.-China trade tensions. The cracks have begun to show in China's economy, but a recent round of government stimulus measures seem to have stabilized uh, the situation. Analysts forecast going forward that HSBC's revenues in Asia are set to grow by 11% this year to $32 billion. That's the same pace of growth as compared to last year. And that's primarily driven by growth here in Hong Kong and in China. However, adding to uh, profit pressures, HSBC's net interest margins, that's the difference between interest earned on loans and monies paid on deposits. Now, that's been squeezed by a sector-wide competition in the UK, a mortgage lending market. And net interest margins are expected to be flat for the year at 1.6%, uh, despite a boost uh, from the US Federal Reserve's decision to hike interest rates. Net interest income, of course, remember, makes up more than 55% of the bank's total revenues last year. Uh, keeping costs down is another thing that investors will be looking out for. The target this year is for cost efficiency ratio to hit 61%. Now, HSBC has been extremely successful in reducing its costs over the years. Uh, net non-interest expenses, I should say, uh, fell from $40 billion in 2015 to $35 billion last year. That's a 4.5% reduction on average each year.